Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about some of our basic fundamental features we need to set up in our calibration file. It's going to be our engine rev limiter, our idle control, and our throttle position sensor. They're all going to be grouped in the same section in our ECM link software, so we're going to go through all that in this video. Relatively straightforward process, but I'm going to give you some idea of some things to program and things to look for specifically when we're looking at the throttle position sensor setup and configuration. It's going to be imperative that that is done correctly. Um, we're going to go over that again in the video. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at the very first tab here in our ECM Link software for doing our tuning and programming. We'll find on our long list of tabs to look at, we have our first one here, RPM TPS. This is going to be our RPM controls and our TPS and idle switch controls. This is going to be things that we need to program and take care of before we do our actual tuning process. Some of the details uh, that we would set up and program for a base calibration file or a base map. So jumping in here to our RPM controls, we can see our first parameter is going to be our target idle. This is going to be where we want the engine to idle at. So what we need to know about this and how the ECU is going to work, it's going to have a closed loop routine going on. We have an idle stepper position motor that's going to be opening and closing in the amount of steps. Uh, it'll be allowing essentially more or less airflow into the engine, depending on how much it's moving in its stepper position. That's going to be controlled from the computer, and it's going to be taking a look at what the engine RPM is at idle against what we want our target to be at. So it's going to be having a dynamic movement of that stepper and allowing more or less air into the motor. Now at the same time, we're also going to have spark timing control. It's going to be increasing or decreasing the amount of spark timing that's going to be delivered to the engine at idle to increase or decrease the amount of torque and therefore drive up or down the engine RPM. So we're going to find both work in a dynamic system together. And essentially what we need to do is jump here to the target idle and program some reasonable value that's going to be appropriate for the engine we're working with. If we've installed really big cams, a 272 cam, a 280 cam, we're probably going to have to bump this up to at least 1,000 RPM to make a stable idle. Because as we put a bigger cam in the engine, it will reduce the torque on the low end. And idle is going to be one of the areas affected by a large cam that has a lot of duration. So we need to bump this up to maintain a stable idle RPM. Uh, the other factor here is going to be injector size. If we have a really big injector, a 1300 to 1700 or 2200 cc injector, they're going to be really difficult to control as we get down and lower engine speeds or the lower target speeds here. So 700, 800 RPM is going to be difficult to get those to, uh, to deliver a linear amount of fuel. So if we have a big injector, we might have to bump this up to at least 1,000. Now, if you have a big cam and you have a big injector at the same time, we might even have to have our target idle RPM here be at 1,200 RPM or 1,100 RPM. So don't be scared to experiment with this a little bit. Whatever is going to give you a smooth, consistent idle is what we're going to be after. We'll be taking a look at the idle stepper position and some of the idle control functionality so we can kind of tell what's going to be appropriate when we're looking at setting everything up and getting our target idle dialed in. But for right now, we just need to set a level here that's going to be appropriate to what we're working with. So right now, I'm going to leave it at 800. I'm going to be assuming that I have a relatively mild cam and relatively small injector. So stock injector size is a 450cc injector. We'll assume that we have something like a 550 or 750 cc injector. They're going to be really relatively easy to control. Now, if we do want to change the target idle, we can just manually enter the value in here. So thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.